everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. So today I am reviewing a Scentsy bar. It's been a while. Um, I've done a couple of haul videos where I've ordered Scentsy, but then I've just not got round to reviewing any of the Scentsy bars. I think I only had um, this one here that you can see, the Lion King in the Jungle. I've also got a Nightmare Before Christmas bar and a Moana bar. So I went for the, the Disney themed ones, but I just wanted to finally get one on the go and as you can see i'll just show you the label a little bit closer so we have got the lion king disney themed one in the jungle and i have used two cubes so far so out of the eight only two used um and i did use this in a scentsy warmer because i do really feel like i've tried scentsy melts in electric tart warmers i've tried them with tea light burners and they do burn best in a Scentsy warmer, which is obviously because they are made specially for Scentsy warmers. Um, so it's been a while since I reviewed any Scentsy scents. So I'll just give you a little bit of information just in case you've never tried it. Um, if you watch my channel regularly, you know that I did used to sell Scentsy quite a few years ago now. But now I just buy it through my local um, consultant. And normally, to be honest... I only do go for the one, the stuff that's in the sale because Scentsy is expensive. The products I find are good and the, the wax bars are really nice. And I love their warmers as well, especially when they do themed ones. But they're so, I find it so, so pricey. It's not something you could just really get yourself every every week, really. It's, it's more of a treat. But when they do a sale, oh, I'll link my haul video down below of the last couple that I did get just because... When they do a sale, it is such a good discount that you get. Um, but yeah, to, to see the sort of good discounts you get, watch the videos down below um, just to give you a little bit of an idea. So as well, just to let you know, the, the Lion King bars, they did also do another scent as well called the Circle of Life. Um, I wasn't able to get that one, but if your Scentsy rep hasn't got this anymore because it is um, a limited time scent, obviously they do re-bring them back out throughout the year. Um, or they they bring it out as a re-release they say it's gone into the vault and then a year later they bring it back out but if your Scentsy rep hasn't got this scent and you want to try it after this review there are some floating around on ebay and vintage as well so just bear that in mind they are supposed to be eight pound a bar and um, so that whole package you can see there but on ebay it looks like they're going for around five pound at the moment so not too bad at all um before I go into the scent description, yeah, I'll give you a little bit of detail about the Scentsy bars just in case it's something new to you or you, I know lots of people haven't tried Scentsy still. Um, I only really feel like local to me, it's got popular in the last few years. So it says a Scentsy bar is a block of fragrant wax in an eight break apart section pack. Um, Scentsy manufactures all wax products at its headquarters in Idaho in the USA. It says Scentsy bars will typically last up to 100 hours per bar. This will depend on the strength of the fragrance, where the warmer is located and the humidity and other factors. Um, so the main thing about Scentsy is they're supposed to be flameless. Um, they're meant to be really safe for you. And the reason you're supposed to burn the Scentsy wax in a Scentsy burner is because the, it, they don't get hot enough to burn. Like if you put your finger in the wax and things like that. So what else do we have here? It says Scentsy uses both synthetic and naturally uh, derived fragrance oils to achieve the highest quality and longest lasting bar. Um, it says synthetic oils are used for several reasons, including when natural oils results in unrestrained use, oh yeah, unrestrained use of limited or endangered natural resources. When it's possible to derive the natural oils from nature, for example, synthetic oil is necessary to reproduce Lily of the Valley because fragrance cannot be extracted from this flower. Um, and when it is cost prohibited to acquire natural oils and would preclude Scentsy from offering particular fragrances. It says Scentsy use high quality paraffin wax blends to give you a long lasting fragrance. Um, and it says they do not use soy or vegetable based waxes as they do not produce quality wickless candles. So obviously soy and vegetable wax, they are saying is better for a wicked candle. The thing that bothers me about Scentsy is, and I'm looking at it right now on the website I'm on, and I've also seen it posted online as well. They say that obviously it depends on how strong each fragrance is to how many cubes you use. 
but it says here like they normally recommend to use four and i'm thinking you're paying eight pound a pack there's only eight cubes in each pack so what you're gonna get like three or four burns out of it depending on how strong the fragrance is and um, so personally i wouldn't go by that i would sort of try it first so for example i've only used this one once but i've used two cubes but the two cubes are still giving off fragrance i've got it burning for the second time now upstairs um, and i had it in one of the little scentsy wall plugins as well i didn't have it in one of the the larger sort of tabletop ones it was just one of the little plug-in ones um in the wall and i've put two cubes in there um the wall plugins are quite small so i wouldn't be able to fit any more in there if i could but for the Lion King and this particular scent, I think in smaller rooms, you could get away with using one cube at a time. I've used two and oh my God, it filled the whole hallway because I've got it plugged in at the top of my stairs. So as soon as I walked up the stairs, I could smell it. It filled the whole hallway. I could smell it into my bathroom. So this one in particular was a very strong scent. And don't get me wrong, when I've had Scentsy before, there's particular scents that I thought were a bit rubbish. The same as you get with any brand. You get some that you're not keen on that don't smell as strong. You get some that are really good and they fill the whole room. This one is one of those particular ones that I think it fills the whole room. It was a really, really nice scent. The reason I went for this is because The Lion King is my favourite Disney film. Um, it wasn't particularly the scent notes that intrigued me. It was more just because it was my favourite film. It was on sale and I thought, let me grab it. So the little scent description for this, it says, find yourself in a tropical oasis lush with emerald palm leaves, dewy bamboo and exotic blooms that strike a perfect harmony. And I couldn't say it better myself. It is a perfect florally scent. It's not got anything um, like it's not too perfumey. It's, it's not a sickly florally scent. It's a very authentic floral scent. So the exotic bloom mixture and the palm leaves, it sort of gives me like holiday vibes, like sort of holiday flowery exotic vibes. It does, the scent description for it, I find is perfect. It's, I can't wait to burn the rest of it. It's been a really, really lovely burn. And like I say, I've got it burning for the second time today upstairs and that's two cubes and even for the second time it's still throwing as well as it did the first time so personally i would give this one i'd, I'd say a solid nine out of ten probably just because i'm not the biggest floral fan and i feel like maybe the throw could have gone a little bit further but again bear in mind i am only using the small wall plug-in um, and I did have it in a place where the bathroom window was open, so there may have been a little bit more of a draft coming through than if I would have put the warmer in other places. But that being said, an open space, there was a draft. Um, I only used two cubes and I'm still giving it a nine out of ten. So I found this one to be a really, really lovely burn. I'm really happy I did get it. Personally, I I wouldn't pay eight pounds for any of the Scentsy bars, but that's just me. I know lots of people do and Scentsy do bundle offers as well where you can get so many bars for a discounted price. But I prefer to just get them when they're on sale because I just do find £8 for the eight cubes. It's, it's not that bad really when you think about it because if you did sort of price it at £1 per cube and like I say for this one, it's I've used two cubes and it's I'm burning it a second time and I reckon I will get a third or a fourth go out of the two cubes. So... This one, if I would have paid £8 for it, has been well worth the money. It's just a little bit heartbreaking if you pay £8 for one and it doesn't smell. But yeah, when I say £8, I mean, you're paying nearly £3 now for a Yankee Candle wax melt. So it is a fair price, um, but their, their burners can definitely be very pricey. Because I think the, um, obviously watch, watch the video in the description down below if you want to know exact. But when I bought the Oogie Boogie Warmer, I think that was supposed to be 90 to £100. Pound. And I got it in the sale for like 30 odd or maybe late, like end of the 20 pounds sort of spectrum. So worth it. But yeah, I, I couldn't bring myself to pay 100 pounds for a burner. As lovely as they are when they do all the Disney limited edition ones, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But when you sort of work out the bars being one pound a cube and things like that, they are worth it as long as you get one that's, they're very worth it if you get a scent like in the jungle. That's there's another one as well straight off the top of my head that I know is really good, which was lemongrass and ginger. 
um, and another one which was one of my winter favorites was a hug in a mug which was a lovely chocolatey scent so yeah there's definitely lots of scentsy bars out there and when you do look at the bar straight away you think oh eight pound for that it's quite a lot 74 grams of wax but they're saying you're getting 100 hours of fragrance out of it and like this one's already proved to me it's it's going to give me well more than that because the two cubes are doing so so well already on their second burn i'll definitely get another go or two out of the two cubes so just be a bit cautious with it if, if you can't smell it maybe you need more cubes maybe you can get away with less if it's a stronger scent but yeah for senses in the jungle the lion king very very impressed nine out of ten for the throw um sorry i've rambled on a little bit about sensi but i know some people haven't tried it so it's good to just uh just reiterate the the information of sensi sometimes because people might look at it and think well it's a lot of money for what it is but i'll put a link down below as well to um i think there is a normal sensi website but you will need to find your local consultant if you do want to order anything so as always thank you for watching um, let me know if you've tried in the jungle or even if you have tried the circle of life bar um, if it's any good maybe i'll try and get that one as well just to give a go but thank you for watching and i'll get some new reviews out for you soon